Okay, so Opal Aguila, this is 2001. Got a problem with the back brakes. The handbrake isn't working on the other side. It is working on this side. But um, I'm, there's doesn't seem to be any adjuster between the back wheel and the handbrake. Um, I gleaned from one YouTube video that there is some kind of automatic adjuster in here which I suspect is stuck on that other side. But so I decided that what I would do is take the, the wheel drums off and put in new brake pads, which includes the, the new lever for the handbrake. Now, the reason I'm working on this side is that the other side, the drum just absolutely refuses to come off. I spent a whole, all day yesterday trying to get it off and it won't come. This one, when the handbrake's off, moves much freer than the other one, so I thought I'd come over, see if I can get this one off. I've got to replace, if I'm replacing one brake pad, I'm going to replace two, or brake shoes, rather. So it's going to come, have to come off anyway. Now, and by doing that, I'll get a better look of what's inside and maybe what might be catching and stopping the other drum coming off. First thing is, once the wheel's off, jacked up, it's on blocks, is that it has the usual cap here, which comes off luckily very easily. Now, I wonder if I can get a close-up of this. Because this is just a ridiculous system. This lip here is actually part of the bolt. And when it's put in, and then it's just hammered down into that little groove, which is, I think is a stupid idea. So anyway, what I'm gonna have to do is hammer that back up so I can actually get this bolt on. Uh, on the other side that's already done and it actually went quite easy but it's a ridiculous system. Anyway, I'll get back to you in a minute. So I got that bent up with just the sharp pointed chisel. See how easily this centre bolt Free this up and at the same time get rid of a lot of the rust that's on here. Here's what we've got on this side. Light in there. You can see in there the brake shoe is has come out from the brake drum. That's good. But on the other side, can we see? Not seeing. Ah, I think we can see a little of it down there. So I'm going to try tapping on that, see if I can get that to move in to allow the brake drum to come out. Okay, 
So this big horrible looking spring, I don't think it's actually quite so bad because it's, it doesn't hook it going very deep in there. And it just comes out just like that. The other one's already out. Getting that spring off is going to be very difficult. There's a lot of tension on that and it's a big spring. But what I'm thinking is I might actually be able to just get that whole brake chute with the adjuster to just pop out from behind there. Um, that spring's a bit in the way, but I think we can get right past it. Okay, spring now. So, yep, okay. Not sure what's holding things in now. Yes. Okay, I actually got the stuff off, everything off fairly easily. I've, I forgot to turn the, the video camera on. I'll show that on the other side. So, what I need to now try and do is transfer all this stuff into this one. So. This hole. In. Okay, it looks like it's going to come off fairly easily. Yep, that spring goes to there. So. I'm going to try bending that. I'm just going to bend that in a bit. I hope it's a bit more effective. Now I realised that the reason the brake drum was very difficult to take off is because there's a lip of metal formed around the edge which has to now be taken off. Otherwise it's going to be impossible to get back in. So here I am with the angle grinder just taking that little lip off. everything in the right place. So the shoe is inside going into the brake drum on this side. But this side as you can see this no chance unless I figure something out. So I've got to adjust this clockwise, that little wheel, to bring the shoes in far enough so I can get the drum back on here at all. So I'll 
try adjusting it a few turns and try and see if it works. Okay, I adjusted that adjuster. And now the drum is slipping on, but only just, and it's really tight. The, the handbrake is not on. And it's already really tight. So I think I actually need to adjust it a little bit more before I put the drum on all the way. And it's on. Adjusted a little bit, a couple of times actually, and there's a little bit of friction. Actually, there was, you know, a little bit of friction. I'll try putting the handbrake on actually before I put the bolt on, see how it looks. Okay, just put the handbrake on. That's solid. Take the handbrake off. Hopefully this moves. Yes. Okay. I think I'm happy with that. So I'm back on the other side, wasted a whole day on this side yesterday, just wasted another hour or so, putting in more penetrating oil, CRC, bashing it with hammers, I'm trying to lever it out, but this side just will not come off. So watched several, several YouTube videos of people trying to get brake drums off that were jammed and an awful lot of them have got little screw holes where you can put a bolt in and drive the bolts in and that pushes the hub off. Obviously that's no good to me. A lot of them are using pullers and that's eventually what I've decided I'm going to have to do. I was just discouraged from that because obviously I don't have a puller but I was pleasantly surprised when I went to the shop to find that they're not actually as expensive as I thought they were going to be. This was 15 euros. So I'm gonna give it a go with that. See if I can pull it out enough to just get a little bit of the brake pad showing so I can tap the brake pad in with some tension on the brake drum. And hopefully it's gonna work. His teeth are too big to go in there. I think I might have to actually grind a piece off of this. Don't want to do that, but the alternative would be to grind a piece off of this. Uh, that's kind of stopping crap going in there. I don't really want to do that. Reduces the strength of these a lot, but I've got to get this bloody thing off. Okay, yep, I'm gonna to have to grind just a bit off the tip of this. Even a little bit off of the tip. Yeah, okay. So now I've got the this uh, puller sorted out so I can hopefully get this to move um, what what I need to do is pull it out enough so I can see what's going on inside here and hopefully even if I can see an edge of a 
brake pad so I can tap that down and get the get the drum off let's see okay so I've got quite a lot of torque on here I tighten this up both the brake shoes are coming with it but now there's at least a little bit of the brake shoe showing here try and see if I can get that to focus on that So I'm going to have to try and, with a hammer, push that down, try and get that brake shoe to come, to drop a little bit so I can get this shoe, this drum off. Okay, so I've got the tension on here, because I've got this system pulling it out, and all I could see was this just the end of this, the brake shoe. And I managed to get a screwdriver on there with the hammer, hit that, it was just enough so that the brake drums started coming out. But the other side is not quite so good. So I'm gonna have to try it over there as well. At this point, I managed to just touch the end of the, the end of the the brake shoe with a screwdriver, hit it with the hammer, and pop! It's coming out. Yes! Good for that. Finally got it out. Okay. Again, I'm a little bit curious what the reason is for this spring. There's so much slack on that that I don't really believe that that's doing anything at all. But, okay, let's put the new shoes in. But that may be just because how I brought it out. A lot of... Well, I'm not really surprised that this thing wasn't working. It's, nothing seems to be in the right place. Okay, well I just got this this um, drum off and looking at this like these springs aren't even engaged this should be there this should be there this spring is there's no tension on it at all I'm not surprised that this this is not working very well Okay, so everything, yeah, I didn't realize everything's mirror image from the other side. So this side has come off first. Let's get that off of there. Okay, that needs to be that way, apparently. This side looks like, no, I thought it was looking better than the other side, but it's not. Just put it down there. This side, let's take the handbrake cable off of there. I'll get the spring off. Yep, okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. 
that's how that goes. Okay. Alright. New ones. Gonna go this way. So pull that spring back. And try and get this in here. They don't make these easy. <sighs> no, no. That doesn't look right to me. It's not because it's a wrong way up. Okay. So this is going in here. This will go in here. Can I even get that in without showing? Maybe not. Yep, okay. Okay. Let's go and get that. Oh, oh. Okay. And this one is going to go in here. Here's the old one. So we're going to take this off of here. Should come off in really easily, but it's not going to. It's going to go on there. What we need to do is get this one off of here without bending it. Up, but no, no, of course. Okay, it's going to go on here, and then the spring, hopefully it doesn't matter which way that round this is, because we just screwed it all up. There's a little hole there, I can't seem to get it in there. Okay, so this one's going to go in here, but we have to kind of put it in at the same time as this. Okay, now, now which way is it? This way. Okay, didn't get this on here. So, I'm gonna have to adjust this. Do I have some CRC? CRC. left side of the vehicle so I have to turn it anti-clockwise. Get the 
shoes. There's a place down here where it looks like the shoes are meant to go. This one's not in the right place. There you go. Not me. Ow. Well, I need to get these springs in. That's the that's what I'm missing. If I can help it. Okay. That springs in. So these springs, which looked like they were going to be really difficult, turned out to be really quite good. Ah. And now the spring is gone. I think the problem with having is we're having is probably because of the adjustment. the other spring in place. Okay, starting to look okay. But this adjustment is for the old pads. So try to get this hub on. It doesn't want to be friendly. At all. Adjusting this down. So yes. So it moves freely with a little bit of friction. You put the handbrake on and it stops dead. So I think it's job done. I really hope so. Okay, so a couple of points that I forgot. If anyone else is going through the same thing that I've been going through for the last couple of days, looking online to find out how to do this shit, then hopefully this is going to help because I started off not knowing how I'm going to do it and I've got it done. So hopefully the way that I did it is going to help you do it your way.